Like any other form of entertainment, pro wrestling is supposed to be an escape from real life. And good lord, have you seen the state of real life in 2022? We need as many escapes as we can get. By definition, we shouldn't need a break from our escapes. But if commercials absolutely have to exist, the very least our wrestling promotions could do is make them as interesting as the things I'm going to talk about today. I mean, what else are you going to do in those three minute windows? I'm Andy from What Culture, and here are the 10 best things that ever happened during wrestling commercial breaks. Number 10, AEW versus Domino's. Imagine telling somebody in early 2021 that later that year, Nick Gage of all people would be wrestling Chris Jericho on national TV in a death match. You'd have probably gone after them with a pizza cutter, which is exactly what Gage ended up doing here to Jericho's bloody face. In a spot of accidental genius, the very spot lined up with a picture-in-picture -picture commercial for Domino's Pizza. It couldn't have been more perfect and it created a brief upheaval that most people found funny, apart from that weird handful of dweebs who go and turn into a melted down puddle of goo whenever AEW does something even remotely violent. Nonetheless, a good laugh for the rest of us and beautiful synergy. Number 9. Orange Cassidy beats Jack Evans. Fans have been conditioned into not expecting anything of any real importance to happen whenever AEW shows head to a picture-in-picture -picture break, and to be fair, usually nothing happens. It's quite fair, if you ask me. But on the 2nd of September 2021, on that episode of Dynamite, the company tried to change that conditioning by having a match between Orange Cassidy and Jack Evans finish during the picture-in-picture. -in, -picture. in theory, it was a good way to make people wake up and take notice, but AEW haven't done it again since then. Nonetheless, if you're a fan of the company, it probably stopped you from zoning out during the picture-in-picture -picture break, at least for a little while afterwards just in case it happened again. Number 8. Kofi Kingston beats Cesaro on the WWE app. You remember the WWE app, right? Well, if you don't, you do now. But the company's initial marketing for it was heavy, knowing that eventually they were going to use it as a vessel to play the WWE network on. Early on, WWE had to find ways to put eyes on the app, so they decided that Raw's commercials were as good as any other opportunity. So, in June 2014, they took a Kofi Kingston versus Cesaro Zyro match that was airing on Raw and had it end on the app during the break, meaning if you wanted to see the finish, you had to go on the app. And it wasn't the only time they pulled something like this. Number 7, Rusev versus Sin Cara doesn't make it past the break. Another gem from the WWE app, on the 14th of August 2014, USA Network went to a commercial break ahead of Rusev versus Sin Cara. Then, when the broadcast returned, TV viewers found out that the whole thing was already done and dusted. The commentators filled the audience in on what they'd missed, but yes, WWE put the whole match on the app during a TV commercial. Short and insignificant, this squash may have well as happened in the Bermuda Triangle, which is probably where Elias is right about now, come to think of it. Number 6. Wrestlers stop working during a pandemic. The first empty arena era episode of WWE television following the onset of the Global Bastard aired on the 13th of March 2020, and during it, rather than carrying on for a crowd that wasn't there, Bailey, Sasha Banks, Alexa Bliss, and Nikki Cross said, screw this, we're on a commercial, let's just not wrestle. Which is fair enough in principle, but perhaps the thing they weren't aware of was that this bump break did end up airing on television in other parts of the world. Those clips were all over Twitter like a rash, teaching WWE one of several lessons they'd have to learn very quickly as everything, everything changed during a very difficult period. Period. Turns out, guys, the pandemics kind of suck. Number 5. Mr. Perfect beats Rick Martel. Even during the simpler times of 1993, things in wrestling just sometimes sort of kind of just sort of happened. Here in an early episode of Raw, Mr. Perfect beat Rick Martel's ass during the commercial, and it was the main event. <laughs> in theoretically the most important thing on the entire show, the finish played out in a replay for TV viewers, letting them know what had just happened moments ago. If nothing else, it 
at least got over WWE's relentless attempts to present the show as, in their own words, uncut, uncooked, and uncensored in its earliest incarnation. Number 4. Brian Danielson Becomes Hulk Hogan During the commercial break of his first match with Hangman Page, Brian Danielson unlocked this particularly cruel bit of Dick Hedry to fill time with the crowd and kill the commercial break as the AEW World Heavyweight Champion bled out on the arena floor. Flipping fans off when they asked for a yes chant to do some silly muscle poses instead, Danielson became Hulk Hogan. Not literally, of course, because I cannot think of a single thing I want less in this world, but Brian lapped it up soaked in the heat, every single drop of it that came his way, and amplified it further by cupping his ear in the style of the Hulkster. Number 3. Lord of Dark Spots Props to what culture's Andrew Pollard for the live report half a decade later here when WWE hit Manchester, England for a Smackdown taping on the 12th of November 2015. The Undertaker's 25th anniversary was coming up and WWE were all about it. In a spot saved only for the live crowd that was subsequently swallowed up by commercials on the American airing, the dead man battered Wade Barrett following the Englishman's own battle with Neville. Of course, the local lad took an absolute pasting, but at least the Hall of Famer finally got some comeuppance for that really weird Nexus Kane alliance a few years earlier. Or that's probably what makes sense in somebody's headcanon at least. Number 2. Becky Lynch Meets a Fan While making her way to the commentary desk during an ad break on a recent episode of Raw, Becky Lynch received the following call from a fan. Becky, you look good, you look good, and what you're doing, you do it well. Pleased as punch with the compliment, Becky then put herself over for being everything the fan claimed, going almost as far as to volley back additional praise as part of the acknowledgement. From this moment, it's quite clear that A, Becky is very comfortable in the character despite how occasionally awkward it might appear on television, and B, how much wittier or savvy she'd be with a little more creative freedom. Number 1. Cody and Brody Go Through a Table it was during an interview with Chris Jericho that Cody Rhodes shared yet another Brody Lee tidbit which served as a measure of the much-missed man. Reporting back on the somewhat infamous moment during their brutal and brilliant dog collar match in October 2020, the former AEW EVP noted how it took Lee's cheerfully rebellious nature and his own energized spirit for them to justify doing a packaged pile driver through a table as an iconic picture-in-picture -picture moment. Here's what Cody said. Brody was really adamant that going into the commercial, we had to do a big bump during the commercial. And again, another one of AEW's rules is you can't give out anything during the commercial. And so, you can. And I love that about here. Now, I'm waiting for us to do a finish in the commercial. An innovator, free thinker, and inspired warlord until the very end, Lee perfectly captured the key pitch of the environment he was in. And this Cody quote kind of sums it up. It was tragically Brody's last chance to ever do it. So that's our list. But what do you guys think? Let us know down in the comment section below. After that, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Then you can follow us on Twitter at WhatCultureWWE and myself at AndyHMurray, where you can tell me how wrong I am. Goodbye.